Are you ready for an epic starlight adventure? Shimmery. Let's go. So I found these new Starlight Adventure Barbies in Toys R Us in Canada. I think the twins are pretty awesome. I think this Ken looks pretty awesome in this outfit. I find them very retro. I find the space stuff really cool. And I don't like the size of Barbie's feet, which I've mentioned before. Barbie has small feet. All of her friends do. Ken's feet are normal size. But these are really cool. A translucent toy, a space toy, a sparkly toy. These are crazy. I had to get them. I am going to show you the boxes and get them open as soon as possible. Ken's vest can be removed. That's awesome. You can see on the back, I want that other girl looks cool. Barbie has not showed up. I did see one of the Barbies over on Goody Parade's channel. Goody Parade is awesome. Always watch her videos. It's really strange. There's this cat that flies around. It's wacko, but the doll isn't posable. Totally a gadget. But look at the translucent in these. Amazing. I am interested in seeing what that other girl will look like. Oh, those are the twins. She's got her hair in a different way. But there's this other girl with purple hair. I'm interested in seeing what she's like. And oh yeah, you can see the flying dog over there. This dog here. There's a new DVD coming out, so that means there's a new movie. Now the translucent twin, they call them the twins. Starlight Adventure, actually, on my Canadian boxes. I don't see anything about a twin. Something that Goody Parade mentioned, but I'm gonna call them twins. Yeah, no, I don't have a synopsis or anything on my card. Yeah, they don't name them. Wait, I thought this said Ken, though. Yeah, no, so I'm not even sure if this is Ken. I never know if it's Ken or not. Anyway, I showed you the back of the boxes. I am going to just open these up. The card comes off pretty easy. Hmm, interesting. The back of the card looks something like this. Planety, starry, sparkly. For someone who doesn't really like Barbie, I don't like the proportions. This line is really special because it is so retro. So I'll just show you Ken out of this package. Looks like this. Real cloth pants. I don't really feel good about a molded top. And I am I thought it was going to be one of those rubber tops, but it's not. This clips off. It's a hard, solid, plastic facade. He looks kind of thin in a tight little t-shirt, which I also have this issue. I don't look as big when I'm wearing clothes as I do when I'm not wearing clothes. His head is on a ball joint, that's awesome. This is one of my favorite Ken head molds. I have a few here, hold on, let me reach for them. It's the same as the Rockin' Royals one, which I've always been a fan of that head sculpt. This one, I don't like. This one is from last year. I just, I didn't like that one. However, the new one looks very similar, but it's much, much better. So the 2016 regular blonde Ken head is actually pretty cool. And you can see that one in my last Ken review. This is the dark complected Ken with glasses from the Fashionistas line. He has the good new head. His gloves are on there and they're molded on. And he's got these boots on that are removable. I guess I may as well just get them off. Boots can definitely be used again and again. Let me see, is the lighting too bad for you to see the details? Real good details on that. The pants are really great. We had a lot of pants like that back in the 80s. I don't think they were tight at the bottom though. Nylon pants, parachute pants. It's unfortunate that he's not wearing underwear. It doesn't even show a texture or anything. So he will look strange with his pants off. Oh, the pants come off so slippery easy because of what they're made of. But he looks kind of ridiculous with his no pants on and his gloves. So let me put his pants back on. It's always better if they don't paint on the clothes. It's kind of sad when they do. The arms are in ball joints, which is great. Oh, wait. Okay, sorry. I have to take his pants off again. The legs are kind of, they're mini ball joints. They do actually go out a little bit. So that's cool that there is some give this way. That's pretty sweet. That's kind of cool, kind of like Polly Pocket, 
kind of reminds me of like old six million dollar man figures where you could pop on faces and stuff. I'm thinking about six million dollar man figures and it's actually inspiring me to buy a lot of things lately that are like, wow, that reminds me of six million dollar man. Let's go on to the girls. They have the same kind of leg joints, kind of some give here. And oh, the arms are not ball joints. And the tops are definitely molded on. The skirts have this slit here for putting on. I guess that was just so they could put it on, but they glued it. So it is not removable. Yeah, they definitely glued it on. Probably could take away the glue, but I'm not gonna try. Her crotch piece is regular. The skirt does stop the legs from opening slightly, but not too much. That skirt is rubbery. Gee, I wish you could take that off. Her hair has tinsel in it. It's got a star on her chest. I noticed when I was choosing these, all of the faces were different. There were a lot of wonky eyes. Some of the eyes were different sizes. Some of the eyes were in different places. Some of the heads were fatter. Some of the heads were more narrower. I chose the ones that I thought were the cutest. Luckily, I had a whole box to choose from. And still, these are not perfect. Her left eye is smaller, but I liked her overall shape. And in real life, people have different sized eyes and faces, so I don't need it to be perfect. The hair is really soft, so good hair. And this is like really good box hair. There's not that many kinks from the packaging and the best part of all is these translucent sparkly appendages no shoes these are sculpted on which i would have preferred shoes i don't usually like molded top in some instances like this i do like it and i can always say it's like a she-ra doll where back in the 80s there was this line of toys that were for girls they were completely plastic they had rooted hair. You could put actually clothes on them and stuff. They always had molded tops, but they had other tops you could put on top of them. Here's the blue girl, and I thought she looked more mature. She has a planet ring kind of motif on her chest. Her skirt is different. That's nice that the skirts are different. And I like this color blue, and I like how robot she looks. I guess it's because she's more of a human face color, but she is blue, so she's kind of robotic. Again, she has the molded shoes and the molded hands. The hands are in a very good position. I like that. They're so cool. They go from the solid to the translucent. She's like a planet sister. They also remind me of some toys I have collected. I have a few and I should open them really soon. They're called Planet Heroes. They're like different solar system things, like stars and planets, and they're really cool. And I do have a few of them and I've opened one of them. But these are intergalactically awesome. There's nothing to remove on these, so these are an easy review. Hair is really, really soft. The sparkles in the hair are awesome. She's got gold sparkles. She has silver sparkles. And I've heard that they're called twins, even though on my package it doesn't say that. So I like twins. I've always been a fan of twins. I gotta put on Ken's pants. I like Ken's jacket. I would totally wear this outfit. There's no question. This is a great outfit. I would wear these boots too, but probably just in the rain. But that might be just because of the plastic that they're made out of that makes me think of them more as rubber boots. Great outfits, really cool. They're special because they're so weird. I totally dig. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Okay, I'm gonna change up my position just a little bit. I was hurting my back, so I have to move up things a little bit. Want to see my shelves? They go up quite extensively. There's all kinds of stuff on there. Okay, I have been compared to a Ken doll before too. Hey girls, you want to go on a date? Uh, um, we're kind of a team. Um, I don't mind. Okay, if you don't mind the two of us. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, let's go. They're going on a date. I don't know what you do on a date, really. No one ever accepts my invitations.
These are so cool.